Всем привет! Hello everyone! In this video clip we will talk about my other video, which is called how to make a solar battery from a DVD disc and three Zener diodes. I recently posted this video and it generated a lot of interest. But some viewers of my channel wrote in the comments that only Zener diodes are needed in this solar panel. But discs and wires are of no use. Now I will check how necessary these elements are and what will happen without them. Let's see if the solar panel will work at all. It will be interesting, begin. Now I once again measure what voltage this solar battery generates in its original form. That is, with turns of wire between the Zener diodes, which are fixed on the disc. The result is approximately 23 millivolts. Can be raised to 30 millivolts. Thirty one millivolts, thirty two. Today the weather is not as clear and not as sunny as it was on the day when I shot the previous video about the solar panel. Besides, it's much colder today. So what do we see? On average, the voltage is one point three volts. At some position, one point three five volts are obtained. One of the options that sounded in the comments is that these coils or turns of wire are not needed. Let's check this option now. I will remove these turns of wire, connect the Zener diodes in short sections and see what the result will be. In order not to disassemble this whole structure, I will use a different disc. I hope that no one will have any doubts that this is a regular disc, the same as this one. I will transfer these Zener diodes here. Well, the updated solar battery is ready and now let's see what the voltage will be if the wires are removed. It is immediately clear that the result is much worse. Only 5.5 millivolts. And initially it was 32 millivolts. If you try to catch sunlight or light from a spotlight, you can raise the voltage a little. Let's see what the tension will be now. Obviously, the voltage has become almost half less and is now about 750 millivolts. Another option that sounded in the comments is that the disc is not needed either. In general, Zener diodes alone are enough. Let's check this option now. As you might expect, the tension is even less. If with the disc it was within 750 millivolts, 
Then without the disk it drops to 700 millivolts. Well, as it seems, everything is obvious. This solar battery produces the greatest voltage in its original form, with several turns of wire between the Zener diodes, and when all this is fixed on the disk. There was another interesting opinion in the comments, instead of a disk, you can screw at least a shovel and the result will still be the same. Okay, you can also have a shovel. I will try to put this structure on the shovel. So, the most interesting moment. Can a shovel replace a disc, as some claim? With or without a shovel, the voltage is about 1 volt. To make it clearer, I will now replace the shovel with a disc. But this is a completely different matter. With the disc, the voltage immediately rises to 1.1 volts. So the number with the shovel does not work. Another option from the same category sounds like this, Zener diodes could be attached even to a brick, and still the voltage would be the same. Let's check this option too, I didn't find a brick, but I have paving slabs. Let's see what happened. What are paving slabs capable of? The results are slightly better than with a shovel. But the changes are still minor. Paving slabs change the output voltage by only a few hundredths of a volt. 1.1 volts. It's about the same with tiles. Replace the tile with a disc. Everything is very clear, the numbers speak for themselves. What conclusion can be drawn? The voltage in this solar cell is generated by Zener diodes when sunlight or artificial light hits their crystal. The turns of the wire and the disc only contribute to an increase in this voltage. And although in a DC circuit, any coils are not very important, since direct current passes through them unhindered. In this case we see that the turns of wire, which cannot even be called coils, contribute to the fact that the output voltage becomes slightly higher. Well, the disc itself is an ordinary reflector, thanks to which the Zener diode crystal is better illuminated. This concludes this video and if you liked it, then like it and tell your friends about it. In the near future, I will collect several of these solar panels, which were discussed in this video, and assemble a whole solar panel out of them. Then I will try to use it to power some low voltage equipment, for example, to charge a mobile phone. In order not to miss this video, subscribe to the Invex Lab channel. I thank you for watching and bye.